beautiful people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Rafia so today I want to share how I make plain muffin plain muffin nothing else so that's what we are making today let me run you through my recipe I'm going to be using milk you can use any milk you have I'm using coconut milk in this recipe and I'm going to use cinnamon to spice things up and I'm going to use egg yeah just one egg if you don't have egg you can use flaxseed meal I'm going to use hoi we have them um, baking powder and baking soda and I'm going to use flour then I'm going to use dates as my sweetener let's go blend the dates so now I have my dates I make it into puree that's what I do anytime I use I'm using dates to make uh, anytime I'm using dates to bake, that's what I do to my date. So I'll be adding this oil into the milk. What we want to do here is to add wet, in, wet ingredients together and dry ingredients together. So we bring them together to incorporate. So now I'm going to add my egg. If your little ones have egg allergy, the, you can use flax meal. Just use one tablespoon of flaxseed meal to two tablespoons of water or use banana puree just one banana puree or you can use applesauce you use like half a cup or quarter cup of applesauce it's okay in this recipe because you are going to be using date puree so i'll add my date puree to my wet ingredients so i'll give it a mix if you are not if you don't have date puree just use sugar you can use sugar to sweetening your muffin you can use cane sugar you can use any sweetener you have at hand you can use honey too or date syrup in this recipe so all i'll do is to give it a mix mix them together i love dates in baking i use dates in most of my bakings sometimes i use honey but i I think I use more of this when I bake. So we are now going to measure our flour. You can use any flour. You can use all wheat flour. You can use white flour. Here I'm using the mixture of all wheat flour and white flour. And sometimes I use white flour and and white flour and oat flour sometimes i use it that way or sometimes i use flax meal and white flour together that's what i do i don't just use white flour when when i bake and sometimes i go for gluten free flour like buckwheat like so many flours you can use i have been exper experimenting so when those experiments comes up i'll be sharing it so i use see i had my cinnamon and baking powder and baking soda so i'm going to give it a mix and what i will do is to mix the wet ingredient to my dry ingredients so now i have my wet ingredients in my dry ingredients and i've mixed them together to incorporate and now we are going to scoop all her butter into a muffin thing so here i'm lining my muffin thing with a cupcake paper because i don't want a mess and that's my little get and i don't want a mess so i have to line it but if you don't mind washing you can just use your muffin thing so i'll be scooping Today is Saturday and I do a lot of baking on Saturday to keep in the freezer. Like this cupcake, you can just make them and freeze them. Yes, it's, yes, it's freezable. You can just freeze them. So anytime you need them, bring them out and microwave. And if you don't, if you want it as um, breakfast, sometimes you can just bring it out from the freezer, keep it in the fridge. So in the next morning, you can just pop it into your microwave or if you have warm button in your oven you can just put it in the oven and put it in keep warm then it will warm up that's what i do it makes a breakfast on the go so it's very good for breakfast it's very good for snacks whatever you are using it for so it, just know that it's freezable okay <laughs> so i'm making i'm baking a lot 
of things today to keep in the freezer for school runs and for, for breakfast and for lazy mornings when mommy don't want to make any breakfast. So I'm just scooping. You can I use my scoop. I always use my ice cream scoop anytime I'm scooping butter because I want I want all the cupcake or muffin or whatever I'm using scoop for to cook through. I want them to cook together. So I have to measure them so that it, it will cook together. One will not cook and the other will be on the cook. That's why. So you can just use your tablespoon or your measuring cup to scoop into your cupcake liner. So now we have our muffin butter. So I'm just going to tap it down a little bit so that it can spread and I'm going to bake this muffin in the oven for just 20 minutes. So we have our muffin, it's cooled down and this is what we have, a very yummy fluffy muffin. You have to ignore that butter hand, I just finished mixing scones so that's why you see that butter, although I wash my hand but I still have some butter in my hand, who cares? So I have my muffin and it's very fluffy and as you know that I like tasting anytime I finish making things. So just give this video a thumbs up if you like this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video until we see in another video. Bye.